Students returning to Arapahoe High School today for the first time since last we week's go. shooting. 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez outside Arapahoe High. An emotional day, Lance, for those going inside. It was a very emotional day, Mike. You know, uh, uh, several students told me that they saw a number of hugs given and then several shed, or tears shed inside this school today. Some students telling me, though, that despite that emotion, this day represented a big opportunity to get back into school and to try to achieve a sense of normalcy. It was hard to deal with at first. Just being in the classroom where we left our stuff in, uh, it was just, it, it felt weird. This was not a normal school day by any stretch. It was simply a chance for students to come back, get belongings, and to talk to each other and to teachers. I got to see all my friends and teachers that wishes were good, but it was still hard just walking in there and knowing that what happened happened and like, couldn't really do anything about it. Students say the only thing closed off inside was the library where the gunman shot himself. Today, the principal sent out this email stating that a complete remodel will be done to that room. Will it make a difference? I mean, there's always going to be that reminder. I mean, like, knowing that he went in there and he did that. Students still struggling to wrap their minds around the violence. One told me the gunman had a lot of anger issues. One time we were at a team feed for cross country and somebody stole some of his food and he strangled that kid. So I think that in general is my main memory of him, especially now that I know he was the gunman. While they continue to keep Claire Davis in their thoughts and prayers, they are mindful that this Christmas will be like no other. You're going to appreciate your family a lot more and the people that you're with because events like this can happen anywhere at any time and you really don't know. Now, I called Littleton at Venice Hospital just a few minutes ago to try to get an update on shooting victim Claire Davis's condition. We have not received an update. I am told, though, that a candlelight vigil will be held for Claire Davis tomorrow night at 630 at Shepherd of the Hills Lutheran Church in Centennial. At Arapahoe High School, Lance Hernandez, 7 News.